Hey friends, for this video, I'm going to be taking you along with me for a day in the life productivity vlog. My wonderful patrons on patreon.com, as well as so many of you on Instagram recently, let me know that you'd love to see a behind the scenes of what really goes on as I work from home full time as a writer and entrepreneur. So here we go. In this video, I'm going to be pretty transparent and just real with you guys about how I plan my goals and my days, what happens when things don't go according to plan, and all that fun stuff. I've also decided to film two days instead of one because for my weekly schedule, as you can see here, I tend to use three days as more business income days, which are in green, where I work on my writing related side hustles and my platform, and two days that you can see in blue for purely writing and editing my novel and other book related things. As you'll see right now, I do all this full time from home, but this vlog is actually a collab video with the lovely Mandy Lynn, who will also be doing a day in the life vlog to show you how she writes and publishes her books while maintaining a full time job. I'll be linking her video down below so you can check that out as well. But without further ado, let's get into the vlog. All right, welcome to day one, Monday, June 17th. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of my morning routine where I make a hearty breakfast for both me and my husband. And as you can tell, it's a little hard to make breakfast with just one hand while vlogging. But anyway, we just love making sure that we get to sit down together, have a good meal, talk a little bit, visit. And we also love to just pray and dig into the word and just reset our minds with God's purpose and truth for our lives before digging into the rest of our day. Another morning goal of mine is to work out at least three times a week, but some days the dishes just need to get done and the house just needs to get clean. And I always work so much better from home with a clean house. So this morning I spent more time just running around, cleaning the house. You can actually get a pretty good workout doing that. I put my Fitbit on so I can count my steps and I get some music going. And yeah, it's just really sort of relaxing actually. And just a really good start to the day before I dig into more work related things. The next thing I do is sit down to set my intentions for the day and I use my bullet journal and my Google calendar to do this. I recently did a whole post on my Patreon group about how I set up my calendar and my bullet journal to set these big three goals for the whole year. And then I split that up into smaller goals for each month and then even smaller goals for each week. And so I'm just showing you January right now to show you what it looks like um, where I set my my weekly goals right here and how they go into every day down below. Then I look at my weekly calendar and what you're seeing here is my ideal week. But as I go throughout the day, you're going to see that I shift things and change things. And that's why I love Google Calendar because I can really take stock of how long things are taking me. I can divide them into different categories and different colors. And it just really helps me decide if I need to shift my schedule in the future or if things are effective for me right now. But let's see what I've got for today. Today is an income business day. And so I'm taking the weekly to do's from the top there under author business or personal. The events are in triangles and the to do's are in circles. And then I put them down below on the day as I go throughout the week. And so for today, I'm focusing mainly on my author website bootcamp tutorials. Basically, one of my side hustles is to run a course for authors to learn how to create effective web websites and newsletters for their platform. So you can see on Monday, I have that taking up most of my day. I'm also going to connect with my patrons because Patreon is one of my business side hustle things as well. And I will be scripting some author tube videos, hopefully. And one more thing I need to do is email my betas um, and just update them on a few things. So we're going to go throughout the day and see what happens, see what has to shift. And hopefully this is just helpful for you guys to see my process and and maybe you can learn something and adapt something for your own schedules. As far as where I work, I've set up my office with my husband so that it is a place that is creative and fun to actually get work done. And it is separate from more personal space in the rest of the house. Although I will change things up and go to the couch at some points, but I really love how we've just set up this space. There's another area that I can go sit as well. And if you want to see even more of the office and how I organize it, I actually did a whole office tour video that I'll link below. And in the 
cards if you want to check it out. Oh, and one last thing I wanted to mention that I do every morning is spend about a half an hour to an hour just committed to updating my platform and responding to things. So YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, my Facebook group, all the things. And the biggest reason I put aside some time in the morning to do all of this at once is one for consistency sake, because we know it can be hard to be consistent on social media. But if you give just a little bit of time every morning, it's not so overwhelming over time. And the other thing is we all know that it is so easy to get sucked down the social media rabbit hole during the day and not get a lot done. So what I like to do is set an alarm for that hour where I am just in social media. I am talking to people, connecting, updating things, and then I move on. And yeah, I check in a little bit here and there during the day, but I really try to commit the rest of the day to again, working on my book or working on my side hustles. So what you're gonna see right now is me just going through some of my social media accounts and doing a little bit of updating. One of them is Pinterest, and I know a lot of writers don't even think about using Pinterest, but something I really love to do besides reposting my images for my blog posts is taking these really gorgeous character inspiration and world building inspiration pictures and making some boards so that when I'm writing, I have some inspiration there. So feel free to access those if you want, along with a bunch of my other boards here that again has a lot of writing advice, but for the most part, in the morning, I just pin a couple pins and move on, but it just helps keep my account active and people engaged. I also like to tweet or at least retweet once a day and I'll do a story. Sometimes it relates to my Twitter post like you see here. I also go through my YouTube comments and try to respond to as many people as possible. And I'll do the same with my Instagram and Twitter messages. I also check in with my wonderful patrons in our Discord group and you can see we're talking about goals in our goals thread because we do that every Monday to check in about how we're doing, keep each other accountable, and you can see all these other fun topics that we talk about as well. I answer questions, and it's just a really great supportive group that I love so much. And now that I have done this point, I just sort of circle in the circle there, and now I'm going to look at my schedule, and here we are right on schedule to start doing author website bootcamp. Just to give you guys a little more insight about what you're looking at, um, I host a author website bootcamp course in this Facebook group here. And Facebook actually allows you to separate things into units, which is really fun. So you can actually create lessons. People can check off the different lessons as they do them. And you can do live streams and video tutorials. And so this is how I've chosen to host my bootcamp course right now. And it's a lot of work, but a lot of fun. So what I need to do today is just to record some more tutorials for unit two. We're in our second week of boot camp and make sure that everybody has all the material that they need so that they can create the author website of their dreams and newsletter and so much more. Okay guys, it is three o'clock and I was supposed to have started working on authorship videos by now, but author website bootcamp is like so much more time consuming than I anticipated. I mean, I've done this whole bootcamp before, um, but uh, Facebook is giving me issues and uh, live streams are giving me issues on there. And I'm just, I'm falling behind, which honestly, typically happens um, and it's okay. Um, especially because I think you guys saw that on Friday, um, I think I have some extra time. So I'm thinking maybe I will um, move some book stuff maybe to that day and maybe just do some more of these tutorials tomorrow. And then I can work on some author tube stuff or maybe I'll just get all of the tutorials done today just make the push and get it done and then um, I will just work on author tube stuff tomorrow morning and then book stuff tomorrow afternoon let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about hold on so here you can see that I'm supposed to be working on author tube stuff um, but what I'm thinking is maybe especially because Fridays like pretty open right now and flexible. Um, maybe I will either make the push to just make all the author 
website tutorial stuff um, through the end of today and then start author tube stuff in the morning tomorrow. Um, try to get through some of that in an hour or two and then work on my book the rest of the day. Um, or I could do author tube stuff now and then push some more website bootcamp stuff over here, take a little break from it, have a fresh mind tomorrow, and then do book stuff. So we'll see what I end up doing. I also need to um, make dinner, which you can see here I have dinner happening, but I have not put in where I'm going to be making it. And this actually appointment might not be happening today anyway, so maybe I'll make it there. But yeah, I just tend to be working on the computer a lot. So part of what I try to do during the day is to set little alarms for myself so that I get up, I make sure I eat, I walk around. Um, sometimes my wonderful neighbor and I go uh, walking together, which is really nice to take a little break. Um, sometimes I move to the couch or I just move to the kitchen or some other place um, to sort of clear my head as well. So I might just need a change of scenery at some point soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get a little bit more done here. Um, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Gotta make dinner. And then um, I still think it's been a really productive day. I just, I like a little variety. Um, and I think when I'm doing the same thing for like too long and sitting for too long, it's not healthy. So um, yeah, we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. God, come on loading bar. This is the frustrating thing when a lot of your work is dependent on internet and technology. So uh, this has just been taking way too long to load. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually Hey, apples. This was like part of my lunch. Still sort of snacking on that. Um, I am still working on tutorials, obviously. Um, I'm going to email my beta readers while this thing is loading and hopefully it loads soon. And then I might, yeah, need to change the scenery, do some scripting uh, for some YouTube videos, or maybe I'll just push myself to finish the tutorials, but we will see what happens. It is four o'clock, and no, this is not the same <laughs> buffering wheel of death, but it is for the second tutorial I've been trying to upload, and I'm just done, guys. I'm just done. I'm, I'm moving on. I gotta do something different. So I'm going to. Goodbye. All right, for this last stretch of the day, I'm totally gonna park myself right here with my awesome lap desk. And we gotta open some windows cause it is dreary in here. Here we go. And we're gonna open up these as well. You guys get to see my fun backyard with my rock wall in the backyard. It's sort of funny. But uh, yeah, that's my backyard. Love looking at it. And uh, let's get some more work done. All right, guys. It is a little past five, which is when I like to end working. Sometimes it doesn't happen. But let's see how we did. Um, first of all, the last hour, I planned out some videos for June, possibly July, some about um, what I've learned from doing beta readers, um, how to build your author tribe slash community, which a lot of people gave me some questions from Instagram. So that's sort of helping me figure out what I wanna talk about there. Um, obviously this day in the life vlog and I want to do a separate one more about my Google Calendar I think and then I also do this really cool thing about how um, I while I'm reading my TBR um, list of books I'm actually studying story structure at the same time by using the save the cat beat sheet and I use sticky notes and I have a whole process that I thought would be really cool to share so I did make some progress on my 
AuthorTube stuff. If you're wondering uh, what I'm using, I'm using Evernote. And um, yeah, I just organize uh, my different scripts in this uh, AuthorTube video folder and I sort of organize it by month, but I can't like just organize it by month. I It has to be alphabetical order. So I've assigned um, letters to each month in alphabetical order so that they show up and actually sort of group together. So like May was H and June is G and it's like really sort of silly, but Evernote is really easy to keep all these little notes together. Um, so that's what I use. So yeah, so let's look at the day. Um, I could have started my day earlier like I planned and maybe that would have been a little more helpful. So maybe tomorrow, even though tomorrow is usually an earlier day because Ben uh, leaves earlier. So we try to do sort of get ready together and have breakfast together still and all that kind of stuff earlier. So tomorrow's gonna be an early day, but let's see. So I did half an hour of just catching up on my, on my platform. Um, I um, did some Patreon stuff and I've sort of checked in with them throughout the day too. And then I did a lot of author website stuff today, sort of had a working lunch um, around one. And then I'm finishing up AuthorTube sort of scripting so that possibly tomorrow, oh, this is gonna be hard. You know what, I might have to move um, and just do more AuthorTube stuff on Wednesday so that I can get this book stuff done. Um, the other option I could also do is just switch these two days, even though technically I don't really like doing that. Um, I could put more biz stuff on here and then more book stuff on here, but I definitely need to finish up those tutorials. So we'll see tomorrow um, or maybe later tonight I'll adjust this schedule to see what I should maybe prioritize, how I can get these other tutorials done and work on my book and get the scripting done. So for now, I think I need to start making dinner. And actually Ben has a call tonight for some of his work stuff. So if he's working on that, possibly I might work and catch up on some of this, or I might just take a break and like read a book or do something just relaxing. So I'll let you know, I'll vlog a little bit of that if I end up doing something, if not, I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. Good morning, everybody. Day two. Um, today is supposed to be a book day, but I am, like I said last night, going to move some of the boot camp stuff to this morning so I can get that done and then focus the rest of the time on my book. And then I will probably do more book stuff on Wednesday, even though that's mostly a business day. So you guys can sort of see that like I have a basic plan and then sometimes it just gets shifted and that's okay. Um, but last night Ben did have a video call meeting and so I did like half resting, half sort of prep for a YouTube video. Um, I've been wanting to show you guys a video where I show you that while I read a book, I actually study story structure um, because I take the Save the Cat or Save the Cat Writes a Novel structure of story beats and then I preset where they're supposed to be in the book based on the percentages when they're supposed to show up. And um, yeah, and then I read the book and sort of take stock of when those beats are actually happening and if they're happening in the right place and how that affects the pacing and how that affects my enjoyment of the story. And then I'm studying story structure at the same time. And this is actually Jessica Brody's book, um, her newest book, Sky Without Stars. And it is actually a YA retelling set in space of Les Mis. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I started listening to the audiobook a little bit last night as I read the book at the same time. That's sort of like a weird thing I like to do when there's an audiobook. Um, but yeah, so that video and how I sort of break that down, I actually have like a whole Excel spreadsheet that presets all the times for you. So I'm excited to share that with you. 
But yeah, I should really get going. I've already done some platform stuff. It's almost eight o'clock. I gotta finish up just checking in on my different platforms like I showed you yesterday. Um, and then I have my to-do list. So I have to finish um, these tutorials, obviously. And then I can't read backwards. So um, I'm gonna be working on round seven of my beta chapters. I emailed my betas yesterday and we talked about actually having stuff due on Fridays. So I have a little more time to send them chapters and they have more time to send me their questionnaires. You can also see that I've starred these two things because they are really the priorities today. Um, what I will do if I have any extra time, which I probably won't, but if I do, um, I might record one to two author two videos. That will happen tomorrow if I don't get to it today. And I also need to run the dishwasher and do some laundry, which I will do in between things and just get it going. So those are my main things that I wanna do. It is now reflected in my calendar and yeah i am just gonna get started and take you guys along for the ride see what happens Okay, so it is about 11 o'clock. I went a little bit longer with the tutorials. They're still not done. I've gotten most of them done, but they're still not done. And now my internet is going crazy. So I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let my computer rest a little bit. I'm going to have an early lunch. I'm probably gonna take a little YouTube break and watch some YouTube videos that I have to catch up on. I gotta throw in the laundry. And then I am, I think I'm gonna go on my Patreon Discord group, see if anybody is around that would like to word sprint with me. I'm gonna get into my book, start writing in that little section over there. You can see all of my lights that I love to put on, especially on a rainy day like today. And I'm just gonna sit there and do some sprinting and writing, work on round seven that I need to get to my betas by Friday. Um, so I have like three chapters that I send them every week with a questionnaire so they can get some feedback and yeah so let's eat and then let's get some writing done All right, so it is almost three o'clock. I've been writing for about three or so hours. I'm only about halfway through the chapter, the first chapter of three that I need to edit by the end of the week, but it is still progress, definitely sprinting. I've been using Google Timer to sprint about 30 to 40 minutes at a time. And a little while ago, I started sprinting with one of my patrons, JJ, and that is always fun. Um, just <laughs> getting into the spirit with some gifts and just really trying to encourage each other as we write and edit. We're actually both editing right now. Honestly, I'll probably just keep sprinting until Ben comes home to try to get as much progress as I can and we'll see how far I get, and then we'll close up this vlog. 
Hey guys, it is actually no longer Tuesday, but I did get more done on that day that I want to update you on. I also got to the end of the week, so I just want to show you a little snapshot of what my schedule looks like in comparison to what my ideal week is, um, catch you up on what I got done and what I didn't. And yeah, this was just a really fun vlog to do. I actually don't do vlogs very often, at least not yet. So if this is something that you enjoy, definitely let me know in the comments and give this video a like if you're enjoying it, if you're getting something good out of it. Um, but let me update you and we'll wrap this up. Okay, first before we address this whole crazy mess, let's look at Tuesday and how that wrapped up. I ended up writing till 5 p.m. So I got about five and a half hours of writing slash editing time and I did actually make a full pass through through all three chapters that I needed to send to my betas by the end of the week. So I got like basic edits done. I still had some things like parts of scenes I wanted to change or add and I, I still had a good amount of work but at least I made it all the way through those three chapters. And then um, what I ended up doing is making Wednesday still mostly a business day, um, some business stuff on Thursday, but then I spent the rest of Thursday and most of Friday just like working on the book and writing and eventually getting um, my betas, their chapters by the end of Friday. So that actually worked out really well for my sanity is just focusing on a little bit more on business on this front end and then more on writing on the back end of the week. So that really worked for me. But as you can see, the real time schedule as opposed to the preset schedule is very different but just to encourage you guys like that's totally okay as long as you start with a plan and start with just assigning certain times to get the things that you need to get done done you can always adjust and then take stock of how long things take and adjust your expectations for the following week which is basically what I do and as you guys saw during the week I just really like updating the different times and seeing where I spent my time I love color coding you can see really clearly how much much time I spent on business and income stuff and how much I did on writing and one of my goals going forward is to really try to increase the time I'm working on my book while still maintaining my side hustles and maybe making them a little more automated than making them things that I have to put a lot of active time into week after week. My biggest goals for my book right now is to finish up this beta round in time to do some editing so that I can actually submit to pitch wars and or author mentor match depending on when the dates are. I'm just super excited for the potential of working with a traditionally published or agented author through one of those programs, getting some help to really hone my book and make it the best it can be so that I can start querying and get it published someday and you guys can actually read it which would be fabulous. I also so want to just publish this book and I know traditionally publishing is going to take a long time so I'm also considering self-publishing. I think that would be really fun too but we'll see what happens. Let's just also look at my bullet journal real fast and just you can see that I got most of the stuff done that I needed to get done. I put this marker here because I only got one YouTube video totally edited and posted, but that is okay. But yeah, overall, I feel like this setup is still really helping me with the bullet journal and the Google Calendar. And by the way, if you guys need help with your bullet journal, I do have a few videos that I'll link in a playlist in the description. And if you have any other questions about either of these tools, um, I'm definitely thinking of doing more tutorials on how I use them. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to check out even more videos about writing and about productivity and author platforms, definitely check out one of these two videos and we'll see you there.